Hello, this is a voodoo guide for every single version of World of Warcraft. Uh, I'll be showing you my personal profile. I'm also going to be providing you with the import string. So I'm playing, as you see, a healer. So this is a healing profile. And I think it should work uh, for the every version of, of the game. Uh, so it will be in the description, the import string. So how do you import it? Well, you have to open the add-on. Uh, the, there will be an icon on the mini bar, uh, on the mini map, uh, like, like this, this item. So you will go to the tools. You will copy the import string in the profile, in the description. Then you would go to import, paste the string, press OK, yes then you would sell you you will select on a, a drop down menu home cutie holy party profile and uh, click apply then you will import the the profile so when you import the profile uh, this uh, i'm going to show you the examples of how it will look like on the on the videos so this is a classic cataclysm world of warcraft so uh, this is the horizontal layer uh, setup. The bars are layered horizontally. This is a tenman. This is the same thing, but is the it's the SOD version of the classic, and I've used the same string uh, since I've created the add-on back in the in the Wrath of the Lich King. Further, this is 25 men, but this is a vertical setup. So the groups, the bars are layered vertically. This is a retail version, party of five men horizontally. This is a 10 men heroic Lich King, but uh, it's vertical setup, even though it's a 10 men. And lastly, this is heroic Lich King with the vertical setup like you saw on the SOD clip. Now some talk about some settings. So when we open the add-on, the frames will be unlocked. So when you open the add-on, the frames will be unlocked, so you can move them freely. But they will lock in combat, in fight. So if we go into general, general, and press enable on lock panels, we will lock them permanently. Now they are permanently locked. That's something you may want to do or not. Uh, one more thing that is not displayed here in the on the clips is you see when I'm healing someone uh, there is no incoming healing display on the bar. I figured that's something you may want to use or may be interested in so if we take some damage I set it up now that when I'm healing its incoming healing is displayed as this green green bar. So how do you do that? You go to general, you go to threats and incoming, and now incoming healing, you check your own, or if you want uh, from your other healers, you may do here as well. Now, when you have set that up, you go to color, you go to the second, uh, second option, modes, find the incoming, by default it will be set like, like this on opacity. So uncheck opacity, check background, click on the background, select the color you want, move this slider to match the color, then press OK, OK, and now when you take damage you will display incoming healing. That's something even I could have been using, been lazy to set it up though. OK, further. So, if you do not like, uh, I mean, my goal was for this to be as closely matched to the Blizzard default experience as I 
could could have made it. So, if you would like to change the the color of the I mean, not the color but the texture of the bar, you can do that in the panel section. Uh, you just go to the panel, you go to the bars and bar textures. Here you can move, you can use different styles of the of the bars but i'm using blizzard raid bar also here you can go to the sizing uh, portion and you can change the sizing of the bars make it larger or smaller or stuff also in the general tab you can change the layout so now it's in the horizontal mode if you want it to set vertically you would just uncheck the horizontal click apply now you see group one is displaying above meaning the bars are vertically and if we select horizontally it will uh, be horizontal this is a panel two it's for the tanks so panel two is for the tanks and panel one is uh, the, the the main the main groups also um, now I'm going to talk you through some of the things I'm using quite regularly on a voodoo and why I'm even using voodoo and not blizzard default frames I feel like I have much more control over some stuff that I want to see or don't want to see uh, so let's talk about the buffs when I'm uh, or the hots shall I say so when I'm using on myself like pain suppression i can see pain suppression when i'm using renew i can see renew if i'm using shield i can see shield shield even has its own animation so this animation is quite cool so if we check on on some of the examples here on the lich king video when someone is taking damage you can see that the shield is chipping away so this yellow part is how much of the shield is left on the target so that's quite useful uh, but how do you set up what you want to see from your personal hots and buffs on the frames so you go to the panel section you go to the hot icon and here you can uh, type in the name of the hot you want to be displayed so shield pain suppression renew also you can track your own or others you might want to uncheck the others if you don't want to see like sh sh uh, shields from other priests or something uh, and then if you want to change uh, the, s the orientation or the position of, of it you would just click here on the these red circles where you want uh, the position of the icons to be then go to scale here you can change the size of the hots in question okay then you just uh, click apply all and it will be applied don't forget to click this apply all otherwise it will it will not apply so the second thing i want to talk about are the debuffs so uh, the debuffs is quite important because if we look at some examples of the voodoo so here for example when the raid is affected by by a magic debuff uh, the bars will change color into blue just trying to find find it out here so this is a dispellable magic debuff and by default in voodoo the uh, the color of the frame is changed to blue if for example is the disease like you see here the color will change to red uh, but you will not know which debuff it is if you do not manually set it up so like here i don't know which debuff this is i know only know this is a magic dispellable debuff but i don't know what it does so the only way for me to know what this is like for example here here i'm seeing an icon of it or on valiona 
I'm seeing also an icon here on the on the tank of the debuff as well as I'm trying to find a blackout so we can see should be somewhere here come on here it is so this is a blackout and the icon is displayed because I set it up manually if I didn't do that it would just be a blank uh, blue bar and it's even glowing so how do you do that you go to the of course to the add-on you go to the debuff section and you go to the custom and here you have to type in the name the exact name of the debuff in question so if you want to track like blackout you would type blackout check the icon check the timer bar glow bar glow you can select icon glow if you want icon to glow as well as bar and if the debuff has a stacks you just have to press the stacks as well then you have to save it don't forget to save it because it will not save so uh, the bar glow is like this this uh, this yellow thing is a bar glow if there was icon glow this icon will also glow in the same fashion as this bar to throw uh, to uh, keep your attention uh, and the stacks this is these are the stacks so it will uh, display them as stacks so keep in mind that uh, you you will have to be interactive with voodoo and well, what I'm doing the most with the add-on is I'm importing the debuffs for particular fights that I want to see. Sadly, it won't do it automatically. Uh, on this occasion, I didn't even bother to put uh, the stuff in because this dispellable debuff is not important for me to dispel it. In, in, in entirely so I didn't do it do it and the last thing you may see here I have the pet bar it's sometimes buggy but you can display the pets if you for some reason want to heal them so you go to the move tab and you uh, have to find the free bar slot so this is group one two three four so this can be a pet group so you just go to choose you go to special pets press ok and then then you will uh, you will have pets so special pets okay that's pretty much pretty much it I wanted to cover the stuff is in the description if you have questions comments leave them as well in the in the comments and i'll see you in the next one thank you and take care